gets the fish He knows the facts He always makes fishing fun For you and everyone Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV It's time for Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV here. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is how I find a spot. So when I find a spot, I look at four primary factors and I describe those as pause. Parking, access, water, and structure. So whenever I'm, I come out here to Google Maps and I'm looking for those four factors. So I'm gonna show you a video of a couple new spots I tried. They weren't great. Um, but so we went all the way down here. So what I was looking for, I really wanted to get out and find a good spot out on Biscayne Bay. So I zoomed in on my map and I looked at where I thought there might be some access, some parking access and structure. So obviously if you go all the way down to Turkey Point, that's a nuclear facility. You can't fish there, but Homestead Bayfront Park is, was a good spot to try because if you look, on either side of the canal, you have Homestead Bayfront Park and the Dante Fasquel uh, Visitor Center for the, um, I guess that's a city park and this is a national park. So first I went to the national park and I did not see a lot of great places to fish. If you look back here, um, you couldn't fish there, but I knew there was plenty of parking. This canal runs along here and I saw a lot of people fishing and I feel sure there's fish there, but the water was very shallow. So I went across the street to Homestead Bayfront Park, and you're not allowed to go to the marina. I know there's a lot of fish in the marina, but they had it blocked off because of uh, coronavirus. So I parked right here, and I fished right here on this point, and it was okay. I had a barracuda. I caught a couple small snapper, um, but it wasn't too effective. Fish Facts TV, first fish of the day. What do we got here? It is a Mohara. All right, not what I was looking for, but I guess it'll have to do. Ooh, and it is a schoolmaster and not a very big one at that. Well, I guess this spot was worth a try, but I might have to go try and find something else. So let me zoom out. And I was like, all right, so what else is near here? where I could have a uh, similar type fishing. So I went up a few miles to Black Point. So where is Black Point? Black Point is right here. So I went to Black Point. There's plenty of parking. Um, like I said, back to my par parking access. And here is a spillway. So you're actually allowed to park right here. So I parked here. And the spillway was open, so I thought I might be able to get into some snook. But unfortunately, I did not get into any snook, but I did get a lot of snapper. So um, I'll show you both clips. First, for fishing um, down south when I was at uh, Homestead Park or Homestead Bayfront, and then from Black Point. Now, Black Point has a lot of other areas. You can walk all the way out here, so I think I'm going to save this for another day because that's a good half mile walk if not more um, but all around here you can fish and like I said there's a lot of small snapper right around the spillway where I was fishing um, I think there's some good fishing under this bridge too but I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, what I do when I'm looking for spots so I'm always keeping those four factors in mind parking access structure and water so um, just so you a couple more stories. Sometimes I'll look for spots and they may have one, but not the other. So sometimes if you are gonna find cold spots like I do, you just have to go there. Maybe you'll have some of the factors, but not the others like here. These are spots I wanna try, but as you can see, there's no access. You have to, you can get there. This is a dirt road where you can walk, but you have to walk or bike all the way from Black Point or all the way down from Homestead. So I'm just talking about this area right now. But uh, like I said, enjoy the videos and uh, hope you enjoy.
Fish Facts TV. I want to talk about a little bit of a new concept that I'm working on called mens pesca. So in law, mens rea is the idea that a criminal had the proper mindset to have committed the crime. It's generally more common in criminal law. So when I talk about mens pesca, what I'm meaning is the mind of a fish. I'm out here today at Black Point. So you see a lot of people fishing. And you know, some of those people are probably you folks watching my videos. And people are using very heavy tackle and fishing in very shallow places. So when you think about it from a men's pesca perspective, you wanna get into the mind of the fish. What is that fish thinking? So these fish can see. And when you're using heavy metal leaders, you know, I know that there is a benefit to using those in certain scenarios, especially when you're fishing, you know, very heavy cover. But in places like this, you want to use light tackle. You're going to catch more fish. The fish can see your line. So with the men's pesca, that goes along with small hooks too. Oh, there's a bigger one. Let me... There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, how did that one come off? So we just want to get into the mind of these fish. Think about what they're thinking. That's why we want to use smaller hooks and lighter leaders. Yeah, from time to time you'll lose a fish. That comes with the territory, but you'll hook a lot more fish. And right now, again, I have chum. So that's something else that the fish like to eat and especially snappers, they love that chum. So you gotta get into their mind, the men's pesca. So I'll try to bring that up more often now when I'm fishing and when I'm trying to get into the head of the fish. Little guy. Little hooks are gonna mean two things. You catch more fish, and you probably catch smaller fish. So if you're not trying, if you only wanna catch the big ones, maybe you don't need a little hook. Maybe you want a big hook. But, gosh, these are little ones today. Ooh, and it's another little dog snapper. You know, at first they were hard to tell, but the more I catch, the easier they are to tell apart. The orange fins are a dead giveaway. 